When I was very young, we used to watch um, with my dad. We used to watch some like fights on TV because my dad was into karate when he was younger. So we used to watch uh, like kickboxing fights or something. And my dad took me to a karate school, and I never really enjoyed it because it was in full contact. So we showed up to this uh, gym in Limassol, Cyprus, Lumpini Gym, and ever since I walked into that gym, my trainer just put the gloves on me, and I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. And since six years old till now, I've been in love with the sport. I started fighting professional when I was 13 years old, but I had my first Muay Thai amateur fight when I was six or seven. And six or seven, I used to fight all over Cyprus. I would do the world championships, amateur world championships, amateur European championships. Um, I won a few gold medals, um, fought a lot of amateur, and then till 13 years old, I turned pro. And ever since 13, I've just been fighting um, pro fights. I signed to one championship when I was 18 years old or 19, I can't really remember, but I was a very younger and I had my first fight against Sing Tong Noi in Bangkok at Impact Arena. It was a good memory, I won that fight by points. And um, in just, and then COVID came, so a lot, of, a lot of stuff have changed. My main focus now is I'm 24, I'm trying to, uh, I really wanna, I've been training for a lot of years, so now I just wanna fix some certain stuff that I've, I haven't had time to fix because I was always eat, sleep, train, fight, now I'm like fixing my body, like I want to become stronger, working on my technique, adding more tools to my, um, my fighting style. Um, I'm in a new gym, uh, legendary coaches. We got some of the best coaches in the game here, so I'm learning every day. And from now on, I'm just going to start taking on big, big opportunities, big fights, and we'll see where the road leads me. But to be honest, I'm at a stage in my career where I just, I just want to face good fighters, I want to fight either it's in the stadiums or in one, either wherever it is, I just want to fight high level fighters and I just want to continue chasing greatness and see where, you know, the sky ain't the limit, right, so wherever it takes. You can turn around, having trained 90 days for Rod Zang to can do a 180, fight a completely different style fighter. He is now fighting someone technical, he's fighting someone who will counter him off the back foot, he is fighting the complete opposite to what Rod Zang would have been. But I stepped in very short notice to fight um, a very high level fighter who, who's had up maybe 400 fights. He's one of the biggest names here in Muay Thai in Thailand. And it was just kind of a challenge to myself because when we got offered the fight, um, my team actually didn't want me to fight it or take it, but I just really wanted to do that like walk into the unknown I had no idea what was gonna happen I knew the risk I knew the challenge but I just wanted to face like my own fear you know of like the unknown because I trained really hard to fight Rotang so when my, my fight against Rotang got cancelled I was very heartbroken so then Pambayak fight showed up and I was just I was mentally very into like a fight mode feeling so I just took the fight which looking back Maybe I shouldn't have took the fight because it's just such a high level and a different style. He's tall, he's southpaw, but I no regrets. Um, this is a fight game, I'm 24, and I feel unbreakable at the moment because nothing really affects me no more. I mean, if I could face these guys and maybe I'm, I got knocked down, but I'm not down, you know, I'm up here, I'm still training and I, I'm gonna continue fighting no matter what because this is my life.